What's up, guys? Um, I know you guys heard the rumor today that the uh, SEC approved the ETF, and I guess they said it got it got hacked or something. Uh, Gary Gensler's Twitter account got hacked. Let me tell you what I think happened because he on his I think it was on his SEC account. He said, um, "Move, boy." He said that. Uh, it got approved and everything else and everybody started making a bunch of videos what i think happened is somebody at the sec put it out on accident probably an intern or somebody low level or something i don't know and then that's why they said um give me that and that's why they said um no 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 and that's why they said uh their twitter account was compromised compromised so once they found out the stuff it didn't, it didn't happen, then the, the price went down or whatever. Listen, man, I'm recording this uh, December 9th, 2024. Uh, I believe that the spot Bitcoin ETF will be approved from the time I record this video till tomorrow. I hope I'm wrong. I hope they don't approve it. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the reason why I'm saying that I don't want them to approve it is because I think... Um, I don't want the price to just shoot up, and I, I like my my assets to go nice and slowly on the on the up wow. up end because if it goes up fast, I think it's going to crash fast too. And I don't want a lot of people getting hurt because a lot of people that are going to buy Bitcoin are not going to understand it, and they're not going to hold it, and they're not going to be able to go with the volatility. They're not because they don't understand it. Yeah. People like us, or most of us. <laughs> that buy it and hold it, we look at it as a buying opportunity when it goes down, but most people, what do they do? When the price goes up, they buy, when it goes down, they sell. So, again, measured in, in fiat currency. A lot of people don't even understand that fiat is uh, it's pretty much, it's not fake, but we know the deal with it. So, um, we're, we're, we're coming across crazy times, man. Again, I've said this once, I'll say it a thousand times. The moment the Bitcoin spot ETF gets approved by the SEC, we went from retail buyers like us, retail Bitcoin to institutional Bitcoin the day of the SEC approval. I, I really, I truly believe that, man. It's going to be a day marked in history that through big, not only through Bitcoin's timeline in history, but humanity. This is going to change everything. I've seen another city uh, in Honduras, Honduras that just, um, I'll leave the link to the article in the, in the description that adopted Bitcoin as legal tender. You can pay your taxes and everything else. Stop, boy. So, <laughs> it, it's, it's getting real, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting real. So, again, I'm not telling anybody to buy Bitcoin. I'm telling you to study it. Study it. Even if it goes to 80000 or 100000 or whatever this year, it won't be too late for you to buy it. You know what I mean? Because trust me, that, that's going to be nothing compared to how many US dollars the uh, the Fed is gonna get ready to print, man. It's gonna be painful for a lot of people this year and next year especially. Um, I believe we are in a recession. I believe we are in a recession just because we didn't have two negative quarters of GDP. I, I believe uh, we are receding in this country um, because the dollar's just getting its, its butt kicked inside of our borders. But of course, when we compare the U.S. dollar to other currencies, it looks pretty good. The other six currencies, but we all know that we all know what time it is. We know the deal, and it's our job to wake these people up. Again, I'm not talking about politics. I'm not talking about Donald Trump versus Biden and all this other stuff. Don't get caught up in that low-level thinking, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? We gotta, if you, in order to fix the world, we gotta fix the money. Period. Now that's not everything, of course. You know, you gotta get your preps ready. You gotta stay informed with politics, of course. Um, Everything, you know what I mean? But the reason why I I am fighting for for Bitcoin adoption or Bitcoin um, information or Bitcoin studying Bitcoin or learning about Bitcoin because I know how many problems Bitcoin can solve can solve if it's adopted. And it ain't just about buying a bunch of stuff and number go up. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about for the environment with the mining, people not losing their purchasing power, people having sovereignty. <clears throat> And having their own bank on their phone. A lot of people in this world 
are unbanked, ladies and gentlemen. And I know Bitcoin can solve that problem. And that's why I don't mess with these uh, these altcoins. Because what problem are they are they solving? A lot of these altcoins are messing with the with the CBDCs and everything else, and they're controlled by a lot of venture capitalists that um, I don't agree with. Let's just say, okay, I don't buy anything or hold anything that anybody else owns, or if they do own it. Um, I don't have any kind of say so or control. I just, I just don't. And again, I'm not telling anybody what to do or what to invest in. I'm just telling you, uh, with me, um, that does, that just doesn't work. And again, um, my channel is called Jerry loves freedom and I'm all about freedom, individual, indi individuality and sovereignty. And again, the only way to do that is to fix the money. And the only way, in my opinion, and the best way to fix the money is through Bitcoin. I love each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love, guys.